Well, I think this is a first for me. I'm down in Port Mary Town Hall, which is a fantastic venue, and what a place to see the life, works, history of everything of Laurel and Hardy. Clearly, I think we can work out, Dave, who you're playing. I'm playing Stan, yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. And I might play Stanley too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. What's that about? How does it all come about? Well, I've been wanting to do it for oof, a number of years now, on and off. But it's finding, I mean, I've always been the right size for Ollie, but I needed somebody to be the right size for Stan. So a couple of years ago, I started acting with Dave, and uh, I've roped him into it. <laughs> <laughs> really Rope. Yeah, we met a couple of years ago acting, yeah. and uh, I've always been a big Laurel and Hardy fan as well. And then we got we found finally found a play by Tom McGrath, who I think he wrote it in the late seventies, and uh, just seen a good vehicle to try and make this. So, is it the life and times of? Yes, it's basically yeah. the life story from in, um, from stands going to America in the first place, and then the meeting up through various directors and movie producers. And, and interspersed with some of the classic sketches. Oh, great. So we're, well. we're getting going to get yeah, some classic yeah, Lauren yeah, Hardy. Yeah. yeah, it's Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. Oh, the songs. Oh, the Trail of Lonesome Pine. Yeah, yeah that's the it. one. Yes, that's it. A bit of slap and, uh, you know. Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs here yeah. and there, yeah. You're getting hurt in rehearsals, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah not bad. You, you get it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get slapped about a bit. Yeah, he picks me up and throws me about. Oh, yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> it's not a problem. So uh, this is only on for three nights, so, uh, you know, down here, what intimate setting as well, nice. Yeah, it's nice, nice little venue, yes. Seats about a hundred. Um, yeah, I've done a f done a few plays here now. Hmm. Uh, it's it's really come on. They've got new light rig and everything now, so it's it, it really is nice. So people want to get tickets. They turn up on the night, or should they book in advance? What? Uh, well, to book in advance or to t uh, turn up on the night. It's either way, but at the moment, uh, ticket sales are sort of medium. So the chances are you could pick one up on the door. Yeah, but if you want to book one, how do they do it? Right, you can either go to Miles Butchers in Port Erin. Right. Yeah. Uh, Calvert's News Agents, Port St Mary. You can ring Dave on... 473-264. You're the booking agent, aren't you? I am as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So uh, we, we've been watching just a, a bit of this while we're doing the interview. So you definitely get into character. And uh, is it a, a blank stage mostly? You just you, you use your imagination to take yes, you there? Yes, it's, it's mainly... Uh, yeah. Blank stage with lighting changes, some furniture and some uh, lot props. Various props, yeah. Yes. And where's this going to take you? We'll go on a, a national tour, Ramsey? You know? Possibly, yeah. We don't yeah, know. we might go international with it, you know. You know, We might take in Peel, maybe Ramsey, a bit of Douglas, who knows. We'll see how it gets received here first. And I mean, even we, we talked about maybe taking it across over to the lakes, because obviously Stan was born in Ulverston, so... Yeah, yeah that's been considered. Yeah, so who knows? Sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs>